In the last video, I introduced the important uh, abstract concept of a vector space. Here, I want to uh, define what is meant by the linear, by a set of vectors being linearly independent. This is an important concept that we'll use uh, later in the course. So um, the set of vectors Um, U1, U2, through Un, so n vectors, are linearly independent if the equation C1, U1, plus C2, U2, plus plus C n U n equals zero for scalars C1, C2 through C n. If this equation equals zero has the only solution C1 equals C2 equals dot 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 equals C n equals zero. So the set of vectors U1, U2 through U n are linearly independent if this equation here has as its only solution C1 through Cn equal to zero. What does that actually mean? Okay, so that's, uh, that's the formal definition of linear independence. The meaning is um, maybe easier to understand. The meaning is that a set of vectors are linearly independent if you can't write any vectors in the set as a linear combination of other vectors in the set. So the meaning is that uh, no vector in the set can be written as a linear combination of other vectors, okay? That's kind of the easier way to understand this definition. Now, why does that definition mean that? Well, if there were some solution to this equation where the c's were not zero, then uh, the, the, the c that is not zero, you can solve for that vector in terms of the other vectors where the c's are not zero. So you'd be able to solve for, uh, so if C1 was not, if there was a solution where C1 was not zero, then we can solve this equation for U1 in terms of other vectors, okay? The only way you're not able to do that if, is if the only solution is where all the C's are zero. Okay, we can look at some examples. Maybe it will clarify it further. So let's look at the uh, first example. Um, let's look at three vectors. So we have uh, u equals 1, 0, 0. v equals 0, 1, 0. And w equals 2, 3, 0. Okay? So the question would be, are these three vectors linearly independent? So the question is linearly independent, right? Question mark. Um, the thing, the, the idea that you should ask yourself then is can you write one of these vectors as a linear combination of the other two vectors? And it should, you should see that W and U and V, they all have zero in the third uh, row, and W looks like it's two in the first row, U has one in the first row, and three in the second row, and V has one in the second row. So it looks like we can write W as a linear combination of U and V. So I would claim, are they linearly independent? I would say no. And the reason they're not is because I can write W 
as 2 times u, right? So 2 times the first row puts a 2 there, plus 3 times v. So 3 times v puts a 3 in the second row, right? So these three vectors are not linearly independent because I can write w as a linear combination of u and v. And if we go back to this equation, right, the definition of linear independence, we can go ahead and put u, v, and w on one side of the equation and then set it equal to zero. And we have coefficients that are non-zero that satisfy uh, this equation, okay? So that's an example of three vectors that are not linearly independent. How about an example where they are linearly independent? So another example, we can have u and v as the same vectors above, right? And now w we take as 0, 0, 1. Okay. So what we've done here now, we've put in W a non-zero third row. Is there any way you can get W from U and V? No, right? So these are linearly uh, independent. So yes, linearly independent. And uh, I can show you that explicitly, right? So if we write A times U, so A times 1, 0, 0, plus B times V, B times 0, 1, 0, plus C times W, 0, 0, 1. This one is just A, B, C, right? And if we want this to solve this to be 0, then that implies that A equals 0, B equals 0, and C equals 0. They're all 0, OK? So the key here in this second example where we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1 as our three vectors. The key is that you cannot write any of these vectors in terms of a linear combination of the other vectors. So what have we done? I think in this video I've defined what does it mean for a set of vectors to be linearly independent. It means that none of the vectors can be written as a linear combination of any of the other vectors, okay? If, if on the other hand, uh, one of the vectors could be written as a linear combination, then we say that the vectors are linearly dependent, okay? So the opposite of a set of vectors being linearly independent is that the set of vectors are linearly dependent. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.